In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin lied inside, irresistibly attracted the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Dr. Calder, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Oh, so I guess I'm... I am my female friend now. Uh... What can you tell me about Yeah, tell me more about the patient. He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. No, he's just fetaling. Tell me about his symptoms. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out. And I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Uh, did you eat it? Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. We need that file. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. Oh, he was huffing the jankum. I don't That's gotta be it. Did he just arrive on the island? Like, what else do he you do on a on the docks, backwater island like this? Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Uh, I guess uh, let's examine him myself. Very well. I'll examine him. Look at all these points. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. I don't know what a lot of that means. Thanks a lot. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. That's how His one might describe me most seem days. To feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Ew. I can also be described that way. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, doctor, an opinion? Yeah, I don't understand sure medical jargon. That's my opinion. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I found a load of bullshit. He has something in his belly. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Yeah, we're gonna peer straight into his butthole. It's not an edema? That's no. the best way Can't to get you to the stomach. An edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Oh, he's pregos all right. Whatever it is, this man he's, has he's infected with teen pregnancy. We should operate on he him. might not be a teen, but he's infected with Dr. teen Fuller pregnancy. Said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. <gasps> Are we doubting Dr. Fuller? Yeah, I guess we're gonna do do In all these then. the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes, they can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, 
If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull Oh yeah, let's push our fingers into his brain. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? Sticky rings, I'm that's sure that's tentacle suckers. You have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. Yeah, he's turning that into fish people. Explain his condition. That's a very typical thing that would happen. Oh, what about that mutation? I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No, not aliens. No. The spooky Before things that have always existed on our planet. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I oh, glad that conversation ended at a convenient time. May I know what you're doing to my patient? Yeah, he's got what sticky fingers. How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? The sticky fingers, I told you. You're turning him into a monster. Suction cups on his fingers. His falling body temperature. His dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of... an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? Yeah, it's exactly the kind. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be. In time? I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Okay, well, done put me in my place. What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? And that's what led her to helping me out when I was in the asylum. I'm going to tell her to stay out of this. The less people involved, the better. Don't you get I don't want her. In this. I don't want her getting in danger. But doctor, this man is dying. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. He's in the hands yeah, of Yeah, but Fuller. this man will die and you you'll die to too, like so Elizabeth? you'd best just With the stay out of it. Nightingale and the chores of a cleaning lady. No. You're right. Let me do my own investigation. It's time I found those missing files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mom. Oh, you don't really hear that phrase ever. Mum. That's weird. All right, I got to sneak into Fuller's office. And this isn't it. Oh, it's proving more difficult than I thought. I have a lot of a lot of area to examine. 
Oh, was walking down something? No. I'm just misremembering. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. Are you going to get sloppy sausage like in the Colonial Marines LP? His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Oh, and his clothes are clipping scandalously through his leg. Nurse? Deborah, Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. He has too much fucking potatoes in his blood. We gotta remove the potatoes out of his blood. Oh wait, is potassium from bananas? It's probably also from potatoes, that's why they call it potassium. Trust me, I'm a, a, a scientist. What's this guy? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. You broke your back? What kind of injury is it? Uh, Spinal? The whaling station. What's wrong with me? You broke what your are back. You talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? I don't see. What happened? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep a bit more. Yeah, he just fell. Broke his back. You know what happens. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Okay, guess I don't need to talk to you. Everything's fine. It's always nice when everything's fine. Ooh. Ooh what key. is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Can I not just take not it? Not where I expected to find it. The key to the Fine, boiler. whatever. Not where I expected to find it. Why don't we put it in? Ow! Yeah, his uh, his mutton chops were weighing him down so much. They got back pain. It's kind of like uh, women when their breasts are too big, gives them uh, back aches. Same thing happened with that guy's mutton chops. Absolutely can't happen. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Ooh, intoxication from breathing organic vapors. If that ain't Jenkum, I don't know what is. Trust me, another I know what insomniac. Jenkum. I should find the cause for such a widespread. Yeah, trouble. it's pretty widespread considering everybody and their dog is on sleeping pills. Oh, hello. Doctor Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed. But the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Keep taking care of his wounds. You did good work. The tranquilizer has kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll feed him all the potatoes that were taken out of the other guy's dispatch. blood. In the meantime, feed Two birds with one stone. No problem. Done. Am I, am I done? I thought I was breaking into an office. I've just been doing my job this whole time. Which I guess is also important. You should always, you know, do your job. Okay. Where was it that I exited from earlier? Right 
Right, it was here. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Okay. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Elizabeth. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Are you guys gossiping over there? Oh, this room is very bright and very clean. What's in here for me? You. Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Hang in there, kiddo. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Or you could just be like me and don't take shit from Everything anybody. Everything alright, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank God, no. The water's running. Uh, I'll just Courage, go. I don't really Elizabeth. care. Whenever people give me trouble at work, I just tell them to fuck off. It's gotten me in trouble a number of times, sure. But it's also gotten me out of trouble just as many times. <laughs> so whatever. Aw, oh, dang it. Every time I get to a door that's closed, I'm, I'm thankful that it's something I don't have to incorporate into my search of the place. Administration. Okay, that's the next next room we're gonna check out. Of course that leads back to the room I just looked in. Nope, can't open these drawers. I mean, if at some point I need to get to the boiler room, I know where that key is. Not on my person, obviously. Like it should be. This place is crazy dusty. Ooh, there's a tome to read. It's putting up my medical. Wait, can I even access... Oh, I can't even access my, uh, my pierce screen. This looks like something to hide in. Or just an asset used for fun. Oh, there's someone back there. I wonder what they have to say. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Oh, Smith Donovan. I hear you're a cunt. Seems seems I've heard correctly. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Oh, is this the doctor's office? Doctor Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Doctor Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay. You are a real cunt, huh? Okay, so I need to distract Donovan by cutting off the water. Oh yeah, I guess if I cut off the water, then that woman will have to go to Donovan for it. But the, but she seemed like a nice woman. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. I, I suppose this one's locked. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Yeah, it's locked. Of course it is. It wouldn't be that easy. Okay. And I'm the one who pays. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. It's so unfair. Okay. I gotta follow the pipe. And then fucking break it. Just someone sleeping on that bed. 
Oh, it's the boiler room. The door to the boiler room is locked. Yeah, you know what? Where We'd have I a way in. We'd have oh, a way in yes. just fine. The office in block B. Well, at least she acknowledges that it was seen. No, you're pulling my leg. I oh, I'm behind here now. I saw this head. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Jill, she's alone in the bathroom. He's just trying to make some money. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk. You naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. I can't Can talk to either of you ladies. Okay. I wouldn't want to interrupt your conversation. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Oh, okay, we're going in here too. What's this? More, more flavor text. Lots of it. Oh, hello, Mr. Watch Anders. out for the water, Doctor. Yeah, sure, no problem. Thanks for cleaning the toilet. Oh, it's in the kitchen. What are we having? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Well, that's only fair. That's all that's in here, though. I can't have some. Another hiding closet. Okay, that's that big room. I don't think I don't think there's much left to explore. Doctor Colden. That's me. Doctor Colden, we need you at once in Dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. But I'm gonna damn well try. You can't fucking stop me. I'm gonna save everyone so fucking hard. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Oh, look at that. This rotates so awkwardly that the book gets cut off. It has a, it has a frame zone there. And that's how Pierce and her became friends. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Because your back ain't broke. Here. Oh, it's Bradley. Hello. Ethan. Maria, You're standing I, awfully close. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're a bad liar. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. Yeah, it doesn't seem no. like anybody sleeps well no or doesn't have nightmares. I see. It's like I'm turning mad. It seems like an affliction. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? 
We don't have any medication left. Oh, there's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. They seem pretty close. I wonder if there is more to them than I originally is thought. Is everything alright, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. Alright. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Because you suck. Almost no patience. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Where did my fiancé go? Yeah, she's I hope dead. those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay. Please, the few interruptions... Okay, alright, I just wanted to look at shit. I just want to look at shit. Oh, I thought I was almost done examining this place. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. But there's just so much to look at. All these guys and their sideburns. I'm about fucking Let's sideburned hope I can out go of all the shit. administration office. Oh, am I back at the office? Oh, d is this? Did I do a loop, or did I just get turned up? No, I think it's a loop. Okay. So yeah, I was following that pipe, and the boiler room key was in uh, this very long room at the back where there was some desks, or just the one desk, I guess. Falcon, I'd love to just murder the old woman, but I don't think it's gonna work out like that. The key to the boiler room. Oh, who would have known? All I have to do is shut off the water. Who would have known that we we would need this? Incredible. All right, boiler room. Where are them pipes at? That big old pipe. All right, boiler room. The one room I haven't been in yet or that is accessible. Oh, look at this. It's covered in fucking f fart water. And farts come in all forms in this game. I've been inhaling fart gas all day. Now there's fart water all over the floor. Jesus Christ. All right, shut the water off. Oh, I'm too weak. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Hopefully it's in this fucking room. Nope, presumably not. Was there a time when there was a tool that I just didn't see? Yep, this guy's fabric is clipping through that, through the table he's laying on. Where the hell would I find a tool like that? I guess I'll just go home for the day. There's no way I'm leaving until oh, I find dang where Fuller it. is hiding. Well, the janitor has made his way out here. Maybe it was in the bathroom. I couldn't go in the bathroom because he was there mopping up. Everybody says it. She's oh wait, no, this is the bathroom. Heck. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Well, no, yeah, this is this is like the Yeah, I want to get another look at that water splashing animation. Well, you do the best with what you got. <laughs> hmm, a tool. All oh, right, that girl that was doing the inventory. There's a secret tool here. Monkey wrench, that's a tool. Okay, I have the monkey wrench. I have the boiler room key. 
I'm ready to wrench the boiler room. Okay. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Okay, I have to go back to Elizabeth, presumably. And be like, hey, I guess you'll have to call in Dal Donovan anyways. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, should I consult my diary? It keeps telling me to, but I really don't need to. Wait, where the crap is she? Oh, she's just gone. Well, whatever, I'm gonna mosey right on in then. Last. The missing files must be hidden here. Let's close that door, just in case. And then tear this room a fucking part. Nope, can't get out. Trapped in here forever. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Really? Okay, it's one of those puzzles. There, now they're all facing the right way. Patient files. I was right. That was pretty easy. One of those ones where it's like, they, each one just affects the one it's also touching. Too easy. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psychanalysis sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Is this all I needed? I feel like, I feel like there's so much more here to to nose nosy on into. Oh, I can listen to it here too. Really something you should take home and, you know, do privately. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls illusions. It goes without saying that these peculiar illusions are the price that comes with her accepting words. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presume that her blood was the key. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? I know that she was going to be important. Apparently there's very the very secret ones around. Cuz usually that that thing in the bottom left means that there's these to find. And until it's Why checked, is Ethan on medication? there will still be more. Okay, now it's checked. Just needed those two. Let's move on. I keep noticing that shoe. And I recall that uh, we discovered she was missing a shoe in that one scene earlier. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. What exactly was her blood um, doing? James, I'm late. The chance was keeping secrets from me. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Oh, it was this exchange that I was supposed to. Hawkins, get into. Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It seems that I have the presence of mind to set the wall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, 
I will dispose of her belongings. Oh, I can just walk right through this. In the meantime, they must remain in the inn. 